we met in college, when we first went to college, up in Haskell, Kansas. We met at Haskell Indian Nations <laughs> University, and uh, a friend introduced us, a mutual friend introduced us, and, you know, the original history of Haskell was, it was Haskell Institute, and it was an institute that was designed to kill the Indian and save the man as, you know, one of the statements that was put forth, you know, the intent of the boarding school system was intended to do. And so, you know, you had children who were literally trapped, they're kidnapped from their villages and brought there in boxcars, much like Jews who were shipped to Auschwitz. And, you know, they were beaten for speaking their own language. They even had a jail. They had little tiny kid-sized handcuffs to put them in when they wouldn't do what they were told. And the majority of the time, they were just trying to be what they were their whole lives. Um, there were laws stating that no child under the age of nine should be put in the care and custody of a boarding school. And yet they had, you know, children as young as babies, babies that were there. And so it was the home of some of the worst atrocities could ever be committed against a child. Priests and nuns raped the children you know, beat them sometimes to death. There are people, you know, still in recovery from those times, you know, and some who never did. You know, it's one of the places that is the home of despair when you find out what's wrong in indigenous communities, you know, when you have alcoholism, drug abuse, suicide, all those things of that nature, when you track it down to its root source, the majority of it stems from boarding schools like Haskell. And so that's where it was. You know, they, they taught the people to the boys to either be you know, uh, handymen or groundskeepers, the women to be um, maids and servants, things like that. And then when I say women, I mean children, you know, and they also use militarized, you know, um, uniforms, marching uh, formations, things of that nature. So that's where you get a lot of the people who have that loyalty to the church as well as the military state. So that's what Haskell did, and that's what it was. But then you fast forward two years later, it turned into a high school, and then eventually it transformed into a junior college, and then eventually it became a university, a four-year university, which is where our story came from. 